This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up, my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. Well, my people, hope everybody is okay. Hope everybody is alright. Only no need for worry, people. Me tell you something, I'm going to start it down a climb down. But before me deal with that, let me tell you something. The government need to hurry up and open back school. They look up pick them have too much free time for them. And, and the time when them have, they might take it out of foolishness. Them now nah, study no book on them something there. They might watch them not supposed to watch. And then they might go try it. But me can tell you something. Remember one time when them they say, it have to get worse before it get better. Me not feel like, boy, you get no better in you know, the people. Right now, I'm a client than one big dirty 17 year old boy rep a like a 5 year old girl and who really and tell me say the police them carry me in a custody boy them I can charge him for rape so all the family afford for that happen I mean I want the body come say give them a chance for them live and give them a chance for this you know I slap them for get slapped you know your family alone I go feel the pain when you're looking at that feeling you know and you know I go sit down and ball like him the behind bars I eat tax beers money fierce them tax money I feed him he should allow for reach round this up. What the fuck, I'm not able to say nothing more upon this topic. I'll be telling the people, burn me out. Four persons, including two children, have been left homeless following a fire in East Albion, St. Thomas, Sunday night. It's reported that about 8 o'clock neighbors saw flames coming from the house and alert the occupants who were at work. The nearby Yalas Fire Station was contacted, which reportedly informed that its single fire unit was out of operation. Hold on there. So. And from when this out operation. So, where the firefighter them were like a yell as fire station. Do. That me you want to know. They must sit down over there every day and collect hard earning taxpayers' money for them pay. I play them in the scrabble. No, son, I play football. Them now do no work and them now no fire truck for go up on the road. Tell me if that makes sense. Eh? How long the authorities them know this? Telling you, you know, be a slap this a go on a this a country. Assistance was start by the fire department in Morant Bay. Its team, which was en route to a bushfire, was routed to bring the house fire under control. The bedroom building, which was badly burned, suffered damage estimated at $8 million. The St. Thomas Fire Brigade said the cause of the fire is under investigation. Me, I don't know when I go see already. So, no need for come, come trick nobody. Electrical short circuit. That is the only thing them write on fire report these days. Yes! After the only thing them right. After them not in a whole for investigation. Only things so that them have time for waste. Me only know that. Remember me always tell me say you have good cop and you have bad cop. The police constable who was arrested this month while on duty is facing formal allegation that he contracted three men to kill a Clarendon man. Constable Tafari Silvera was charged on June 18 with conspiracy to commit murder following a ruling by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey has confirmed. Christopher Robinson and Mark Benny, two of the men Silvera allegedly hired, have been jointly charged with the same offence. Robinson and Bennett are both from Cockburn Garden, a community that falls within St. Andrew's South Police Division where Silvera was assigned. Bailey, who heads the Jamaica Constabulary Force Crime and Security Portfolio, disclosed that the third Third man was shot and killed by the police in Clarendon and two illegal firearm seized at the crime scene. All three were part of a team that was contracted to kill a person in Clarendon, Bailey said. Silvera has been under investigation for a possible involvement in other crime law enforcement source disclosed. Yes, I don't know him do this thing here. This cannot be the first. Look like a long time him have them boy and them wings. The allegation come more than three weeks after Silvera, dressed in full uniform was relieved of his police issue firearm and placed in handcuffs in full view of his station colleagues at the Unsmay police station. Remember me under the talk about a little incident already, you know. Three weeks before his arrest, the constable was removed from the special operations unit and assigned next duty. That for rich enough for them many more in the need to go to yes many more of them in the need to go or they just need for doing investigation good cop bad cop and cop will make holy for mistake people don't know who may attack a fair time now the police are able to confirm that christopher linton otherwise called dalto was shot and injured last night and received treatment at hospital and was released and and location was 
pointed out as one where the incident happened, the police did some processing. Having done that, they, they are, there are some gaps. So in order for it to be clear as to what transpired, arrangement was made with uh, Christopher Linton to attend the Afri Tree Police and to give a statement uh, accounting uh, for what happened. So I guess as soon as they have a discussion with him, he will give a clear up understanding of what transpired. Police them say them not buy the store where Park give them both family feud and I saw him get shot and a bag or something but don't need to worry. Once Stephanie is on the case, everybody will know exactly what happened. All if a mistake she come come make. Okay? Multi-million dollar case people 35 year old Sean Lettman a merchandiser of Kingsdale Drive Kingston 19 has been charged with obtaining money by false pretense. Yes, the brother you are same name, Darrell Voss and a tricky people them. But Uncle Darrell come out, come come talk and say, yo, not no go so. Why not always I try to tarnish my reputation? Who no notice that since me reach in a politics, me stop say. Me come make one Darrell and say for himself, yeah, come in. I want nobody say, and me make up story and I try to pick up for Darrell Voss. No, 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 no. It has come to my attention that once again, Persons, unscrupulous persons are using my good name to extort and scam people. <laughs> in relation to all sorts of methods, in relation to the sale of vehicles and all the different sorts of things, I want to make it abundantly clear that since 2007, when I was first elected as a member of parliament and a minister of government, I ceased doing business, especially in the motor vehicle business. Police are on to it and I want to congratulate them for their swift uh, work on this case. I understand that there's somebody already in custody and that they consider it to be a major ring of persons who are doing this. I have been targeted for many, many years, all of my political life, and I only hope and pray that one day it will stop because it is becoming very tiring. My people, the head phone yourself. Daryl, I'm going to know, say, yo, I'm sick and tired of them. I call, call him name. I'm not involved in this. I'm not involved in that. Daryl also said the police, them hold on past somebody quick and fast. So we're Brooks, the Brooks. School silence, please, man. Come here, man. Mr. Debate. Come, come tell the people them exactly where I'm going for this scam here. Well, this is a scam that is not, I wouldn't say it's not unique because it's really, it's, but it's not new. Um, persons basically were attempting to convince people that they had a special link to the vehicle auction system um, that could give them preferential um, treatment as it relates to the auction of motor vehicles um, by custom. And so the result is that monies were, have been paid over um, by a person pretending to be um, uh, MP Daryl Vaz, I suppose drawing on his connections in a former life. And the um, person fell for it. Um, I, I would say that far too often we have situations where persons are prepared to in search for an amazing deal that's almost too good to be true, fall in prey to people who are being, who are trying to take you, their money from them. See a lot of you who have here with Brooks Officer about this scam, so no need to worry. I shall put it over upon the ground and make sure can go over the gully snit. But before me ever close this review here, members of the truck run over the man and the man's gully splash out people and the truck driver come out and the ball and I say yo. Yes, Cherry, I'm not killing my truck, kill him, Cherry, man. Come on, man. I'm here to drive the truck, but <laughs> Cherry, I don't know where the man, I don't, I don't see the man, I don't know where he come from, if he come from up in the air, under the ground. Or, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I just move up, not even change out the gear. And uh, me can hear. Who is the truck a jump? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah? That's so, all I can hear. And I don't know what happened. I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Please remember tell a friend, tell another friend, come and check us out. Make sure you don't eat your lunch before you ask your picture and the people them who eat them dinner. Listen to me good, listen to me keenly. Don't eat your dinner before you come ask your picture upon the ground, okay? 
Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Check us out.